another Tureg video. So this one's been a long time coming for reasons we'll explain in a minute, but basically we've finally got it back on the dyno. So as you can see, it's absolutely filthy. It's been off-roading, air boxes are damaged. The next job is to put a pair of snorkels on it. And I think I've already sold a couple of them even before people seen it. So we need to get this out of the way because I didn't want the snorkels to be given as a restriction and blah de blah. But basically the engine spec is the same as it's always been in all the videos. We just haven't had time to put it back on the dyno and get the numbers that we wanted. So it is what it is. This is what it did when we first got it on the dyno, 335 horsepower, 650 foot pound if you look at a little blip, but 610 foot pound of torque, whatever it's done. And it's drove pretty good. We were struggling a little bit at that point. It was, I think, five o'clock on a Saturday when we we're going to be taking it. Sorry, five o'clock Friday when we we're going to be putting it in the workshop on Saturday to get the winch and everything and get it ready for the Sunday off road at Frickley. So, watch that video if you want to watch it and watch all the other ones if you've not seen any of them. But basically, now, in between all that, we got the mud tyres on and I didn't have the original tyres that this came on. So, if you look here, that's what fitting mud tyres does to you. So we went from 335 to 261 by nothing else other than putting the mud tyres on and running it on the dyno. So we've had a lot of Amaroks in and a lot of um, Turegs and stuff like that that have got all-terrain tyres and some with mud terrain tyres and it, they never usually make that much difference. So not sure why it did on this car, but it made that much difference. So then at that point we did some tuning and made it a little bit a little bit more power. And that's the tune that it stayed on all the way through. So it's this plus a little bit. So we got the winter tires then that you see if you watch the other videos where we're towing everybody about and upsetting a lot of people by not sitting behind them and waiting for the RAC to come and tow whoever's stuck in front of us away. We decided to put on the dyno then and see what difference that made. So that is that one. So again, from 335 to 312. So knowing what difference it was making, not having the road tires, we just can't do any more vlogs. I think Danny might have done some videos of it with mud tires and I'm not sure if he did, we've got him. but it just didn't make any sense. It wouldn't have fitted the sort of talking about what power it's done and what power it should do and whatever. Because 313 horsepower standard, if we're pretty spicy tuned and you're only doing 312, it don't fit in. So we finally, Steph's bought a three litre Tureg to come off roading and he's ended up nicking my mud tires. So I've nicked his road tires, which this has got a set of four. They're all right, good years, whatever they are. Not, not amazing, but they're not winter. They're not mud, they're not all season, they're just road tyres. And that works better on the dyno. So the next job, Tom's going to run it up. It's still on the tune that we did. And then we'll put it back to stock. And we should also have um, a comparison to what it's done, what it did before. So we'll come back after Tom's done some more playing about. We'll have some more graphs to look at. I don't normally film the videos in this way, so it might all go wrong and uh, we'd be a bit unhappy. But basically, we need to be nearer to 300, 310 standard. And then I'm hoping we sort of pass 350, 360 with a spicy tune. We still, we might end up tweaking it a bit more, but stock's the main one that we need to be looking at. And then the tune that it was on before needs to be around that 335 horsepower mark. So we'll see what happens. Tom will run it up come back in half an hour and then we need to really up, get it in for the snorkels doing because that's going to be an interesting video hopefully.
So we're having a little bit of trouble with the math sensors because as you can see here, the air box has broke somehow. We're not quite sure how or when they did it, but it is what it is. So either the math sensor's damaged or the turbo's damaged and that's why it's reading low. But from what we can see, the math readings are dropping sort of consistently, which is weird. So on the tune that we've been running on a long time, it's on 345. Standard, it's done 294 and 550, 560 pound of torque. And then we've turned it up a little bit more and we've got 352. But as you can see, after three and a half grand, it drops off a little bit more. What we can see is it's targeting sort of nearer to standard durations as it gets to rev limiter. So it is what it is. We'll uh, we'll figure that out once we're doing the snorkels. We might put a pair of math sensors on because they're just the same as all the PD engines anyway, the 80 mil ones. So not a big job. So not exactly where we wanted to be. We've done the power we said. I'd like to keep kept it going a little bit long because the curves were quite nice on the, the tune that it came in on, which that tune were pretty much looking at it were like um, an R50 sort of style tune. So there's not tons more gained out of it. They should be 340 or whatever, so 20 horsepower or thereabouts, but I'd like to be sort of 40 horsepower more, but we'll see. These are old now, pushing them to the limits is where you're going to start popping things and nobody wants to change the turbos on these, definitely not. So we'll get it off the dyno. We've already unstrapped it. Let's get into the fab shop. <laughs> 